Welcome into this edition of the Football Insider from the Bahamas. I'm Adam Jaxa. Today the football team had their first practice and we talked with Coach Dan Enos and caught up with a couple of players about the activities they were involved in this afternoon. We're here with head coach Dan Enos and coach you guys have made it to the Bahamas. How's the trip been so far? It's been really good. You know, obviously this is a, a great place. The resort's uh, wonderful. Uh, the weather's been fantastic. Um, players are having a good time. Coaches and their families are having a good time and we had a really good practice today. It's hard to not call this a vacation, but you guys do have work to do. You do have a bowl game to play. How do you keep the attitudes of the players work mentality when there's other things going on? Uh, we don't just turn them loose 24 hours a day. We have a lot of meetings and we have practices to prepare for. So there's a, there's a time to, to make sure that we're focused and the time to make sure that um, you know we're concentrated on what we need to do. But we're also going to try to um, give them time to enjoy it and give them time to, to see the sights and uh, experience the Bohemian culture a little bit. We're here with senior offensive tackle Andy Phillips. And Andy, you've made it to the Bahamas. How's the trip been so far? Oh, it's been awesome. You know, we uh, got in yesterday and a lot of guys uh, we're able to get to the rooms, go out, uh, have a little fun, just kind of you know scope out the, the scenery a little bit. And you know we had a nice event last night and uh, came out this morning, had a good practice. So everyone's having a good time so far. And you know we're, when it's time to play, we're playing. When it's time to work, we're working. This is your final game in the maroon and gold. You get to play it in the Bahamas. Has it sunk in that this will be the last time you step on the field? Not really, honestly. I mean, I don't think it'll ever really sink in. And uh, you talk, I talk to guys, you know, to kind of prepare for it. The guys from like who I played for in the past and stuff, and they just kind of tell me that you don't really realize it really till the next season. You know, I'm really not trying to think about it right now. I mean, I know it is the last one, but I'm just trying to enjoy every minute of it with my teammates. We're here with senior Dion Butler, and you got to swim with the Dolphins here yeah, in the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah. How was it? It was really great. You know, to to be around something that you don't normally see. You know, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's Dolphin is in Michigan, but you know, we don't get to see them as much. And being around here was really great, you know, to touch them, to feel them, to see them doing tricks, you know, um, it was it was really good. I still know my dolphin name, Naya, and it was like adorable. What was the best trick that Naya put out there for you guys? Um, dancing with her, you know, um, she actually played a song that, you know, uh, she starts singing and we would start dancing with her, you know, no flex, zone, and she was singing it. So it was pretty cool to see that. All right, when your teammates come up to you and you know, harass you a little bit for swimming with the dolphins. What do you, what's your response for them? I mean, I let them know it was a good experience, and I wish um, next year we can come back to the Bahamas. They do the same. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you join us tomorrow for all our other updates about the Chippewas. They'll have practice early in the morning, and then they've got Youth Community Day at the stadium. And we'll have the video for you at cmuchippewas.com. Until tomorrow on the Chippewa Sports Network, I'm Adam Jaxa. Fire up chips.